Hi, my name is Richard Wayne. I'm here going to show you how to set up a rubber vine using Aranep system and demystifier to deliver rubber vine treatment. So here's the part that we need. Um, our regular O2 tubing and a pre-made cut O2 tubing with the tip for priming medication. Our Aranep cup, our T-piece from the Aranep and the Lure Lock. And this is called the Infant O2 adapter and we may may not need the TPs. A bird adapter, white bird adapter, of course the medication, rubber barn, 20, uh, 2 gram for 33 ml which equates about 60 milligram per ml and you get this from pharmacy. And if patient is doing the nebulizer mask, we just use the mask, and we got two set of O2 tubing, we may need one, and a scissor if you need a cut. <clears throat> and over here, and over here, of course you need a demystifier. The Matt Fusion pump, make sure it's blue face. And then our Aranab setup system, already mount on the bracket, ready to go. So this is gonna be set, everything ready to go for rubber line. <clears throat> okay, so let's turn back over here. Now, now put all this piece together. Uh, I normally start with the T piece. And if you see the TP's angle in the different weird shape, it's angle like this, that means flow going this direction. So I'm gonna start flowing from this direction. I'm gonna need this TP's. And then on this end, I'm gonna use the O2 tubing. Okay, and then on top, just your nebulizer. Okay. And then my lure lock continues. I'll go ahead and put it in, but don't tight all the way yet. Just kind of barely start it and leave it there. Okay? And then on this side, I'm going to leave the bird adapter along with my complete six feet corrugated tubing. <clears throat> so first, I'm going to set up for the aerosol mask. So I'm going to use the aerosol mask for this. And I'm going to bring it over here. And I have a little clamp here to hold this nebulizer. So what you do is unclamp it. And so this is a new invention. Before we were using tape. Okay. And then I'm just going to clamp it down. When once you clamp it down, make sure your T piece is horizontal, not so it won't tilt as much. All right, just like that. I'm gonna leave it here for now. <clears throat> so this is gonna connect it to the flow meter. If patient needs oxygen, then you hook up to the oxygen flow meter. If patient doesn't need oxygen, then you hook up to the air flow meter. So for now, I'm gonna set it up to the air flow meter. And also, I've been mean, always have problem with people have a lot of wasting medication because it's leaked, dripping. I'm gonna show you a way not to waste a medication. So first of all, you wanna make your connection. Okay, and you're gonna go ahead and set it on your pump. Press the lever down, slide it out, okay. Little hub from the syringe here. I'm gonna fit into this little gray plate right here. Make sure it's slide. There we go. Slide down, and now this one hit the plunger. Let go. Lock it in place. Okay. You see, you still have air here. We don't worry about that. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it to where we don't have a lot of wasting prime. So this is roughly about one and a half feet about 18 inches so we're going to recommend go ahead and just go ahead and um, cut it to but not too short enough don't short yourself that tubing okay then we're going to use this little bird adapter and if you and they're going to fit into this lure lock Okay, and you remember I mentioned about not to tighten this little lock yet. Just leave it there. 
Okay. Now you go ahead and set up, hook up your your connection just like you normally do. The other end, hook up to here. Okay. And then the pump. 